Hey, Elise Bowman here for this episode of Animation Adventures because I am with Melanie Cohn. She was the voice of Lucy. That's so exciting. So tell us, you were the voice of Lucy for how many years? I got three years in. Okay, three years, and I love some of this artwork. And how old were you when you voiced Lucy? I was about 10 to about 13. Okay, and tell me how that actually came about, because this is so, I mean, Captain Obvious here is going to say this is such an iconic role. <laughs> well, actually, my sister Robin Cohn voiced Lucy, Lucy before oh. I did. Really? Yes. And so when she retired at 12 uh -huh. years old, um, <laughs> when you retire from Peanuts, they mm -hmm. don't tell you. They just don't call you anymore. So oh. they called the house one day and they mm -hmm. asked my parents if I could come in to audition. And they auditioned me for Lucy and Sally. Oh, really? Okay. Yes. Charlie Brown's little sister. Yes. And my voice ended up being too deep for Sally at 10 years old. And oh, it was too high for Lucy. But they said that they wanted me to work into Lucy, and that's why I got a little extra time, because I started a little bit early. Really? Okay. And I just realized I was holding up pictures, but I was holding it too low, <laughs> so I need to hold it up a little higher. So what do you remember from voicing Lucy? Like, what? Do you have any great memories from that time? I do. I, I, I remember the producers, Lee Mendelson and Bill Melendez. Uh -huh. um, they were wonderful people, and I just have really fond memories of them, working with them. And it's so crazy that, so you voiced from, is it? 74 to 77. Okay, I thought that's what I remembered. So tell us some of the specials and the movies that you were part of. Um, and these are not necessarily in order. Okay, yeah. Uh, but it was, It's a Mystery Charlie Brown, mm -hmm. Be My Valentine Charlie Brown, It's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown, You're a Good Sport Charlie Brown, and the movie Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown, and two commercials for Weber's and Millbrook Bread. Oh, two commercials, too. Yeah. Okay, so I knew some of the others, but not the commercials. Yeah. That's really cool. They were just aired in, I believe, just in California. Really? Yeah. Okay, maybe that's why. I was in Louisiana, not California. And so I'm going to hold up some of this artwork that is just fantastic. And I know one artist we both know has done some of this, Matthew. Matthew Brown. Which, Matthew uh, Brown, yeah. yeah. He's in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Mm -hmm. And his um, he goes under Blazin Art. That's B-L-A-Z-N-A-R-T. Yeah, yeah. I'll link his stuff as well. And so, it, do you find it crazy that all these years later you're still going to conventions and talking about Lucy? Because I, I imagine when you were a child, you, you didn't know what was coming down the road. Oh, no, I had no idea. Um, I started doing this less than a year ago, and um, it's it really warms my heart to see how many fans are out there. And the biggest thing for me is that um, I get a lot of younger people that tell me that their mother or their teacher or, or their uncle loves peanuts. So I get a lot of fans that are buying for somebody else. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so neat. Well, because I feel like peanuts, it's something that's just multi-generational because yes. it, well, of course, it comes on every holiday season. And so you're, you know, adults are watching it, kids are watching it, even if it's because the adults are having the kids watch it. So that's yes. really neat. So you just started doing conventions a year ago? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, and I know you have quite the history because you have you were an actor as a child and you've done radio and you've done a little bit of everything, right? I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> So what would you tell, like for parents who have kids who may be interested in acting, what would you pass along to them? Because I feel like sometimes parents are nervous when their kids get involved in acting. I think it's really important for parents to realize their kids' dreams and, mm -hmm. and really support them. Um, I started on the stage at three years old and it was just, it was a passion of mine. And I think it's really important um, for, for parents to understand that and, and just, you know, listen to their kids and support their kids 
kids and in their dreams and and you know if they want to act or write or or whatever it is do artwork uh, you know just really help them and guide them yeah anything for that matter not just acting like you said right like anything yeah. yes artwork sports whatever it is that they decide that they like well do you have any other story that you can think of I know that that was you were so young but something that you might want to share with everybody about Lucy or about being part of the Peanuts gang? Well, I think um, what's really fun for me is um, we didn't record together, but I knew the other voice actors in passing. And the Charlie Brown at the time, his name is Duncan Watson. Mm -hmm. um, I got a hold of him about six months ago through social media. Oh, you did? Yes. And I asked him if he'd like to do shows with me. And he said, well, I'm still working full time, but sure, from time to time. So we actually reunited in April of this year really? uh, after 45 years. Wow. And uh, we've done two shows together, and we're going to be doing uh, a couple more, a couple few more, uh, and more after that. But a few, we have some scheduled. I've also done shows with a peppermint patty that I got in touch with, Patricia Pats from the 80s. Uh -huh. And so we've done shows together. The three of us have done shows. So it's. Um, I've also got to do a show with Brad Keston, who was Charlie Brown from the 80s. Yes. So this is kind of like, I know you might have been asking me about back then, but it's no, kind of tying it together. That's so neat. Well, and it's so neat to have people from different decades, like voice actors from different decades of the different characters to get together. Yes. Yeah, it's that's been a lot of fun. And, you know, I've been, now I'm in touch with, or starting to get in touch with a, a different character. And of course I know some, a few others. So it's kind of, um, it's it's really cool after all these years to, you know, to do, do these shows and to help each other out. And it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Well, you know what I didn't know that only kids voice the character voices. Is that right? Yes. So Peanuts always uses kids. They still do. And that's why um, the kids usually get about two years. And they, from about 10 to about 12 years old, and then they retire. Wow. Girls' voices change too. Yes, they do. Well, and that's so different than a lot of animated shows, a lot of anime shows, because so often they'll hire adults to do kid voices. Yeah. So this is. I would say pretty unique because they do hire kids to do kid voices. Yes. Interesting. I did not know. I secretly talked to her before this, so I knew only because I talked to her, but that's so interesting. Yeah. Okay, so you know that I usually end the show by trying to imitate voice actors and their character voices, so I'm going to try it. Can you do your voice still? Sure. Why not? Okay. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Five cents, please. Good grief, Charlie Brown. Five cents, please. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> oh, oh, I guess awesome. I'm out of a job. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I love, I mean, it takes me back. So thank you for chatting with us. And thank you for being here. We'll see you later. Bye.